Welcome back. It is The Drive with Jack Ebling, the Spotlight Radio Network. It's a Dean Trailways on the road tour stop. We are at Breslin Center, the courtside room just off the floor, here with Lindsay Huddleston of Sports Psychology Solutions. Our next guest, a newcomer to Michigan. No, he's not. Uh, <laughs> year 37. God, it's hard to believe. Huh? 25 as a head coach, and before that, a 12-year sentence with Judd. And you've known me all but about a month. Yeah. If that. Yeah. I think it was really early, early. In the magic, and then we're working out on those yeah. summer nights. Or Isaiah came down. Yeah. Isaiah was here last week, you know, and uh, he was in when the when the Pistons were working out here. And and I said, Isaiah, you know where I first met you? And man, he rattled off everything. Who came down? Who was there? How many people? Remember how many people were here? Three, four thousand people. Yeah. Watched pickup games. It was my butt. It was the whole Piston team. Yeah, and uh, and Irvin. And I think Jay would show up then once in a while, and, uh, and our guys, it was unbelievable. I remember when I got a call from Judd, and like Tom, uh, Judd pick up the phone and he'd call, sometimes swear at you before he tell you what sure. he, why he was calling. But, <laughs> like Tom. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and he said, I just hired a guy. And I said, really? Who is it? And he said, his name is Izzo. He's from the said, Uber, Uber. And I said, well, that's, that sounds good. He played it. Uh, Northern, right? Because you played here, yes, against uh, Gus's team. Yes, Benny right. White, uh, Gregory Kelser. Mm -hmm. He's a pretty good player. Decent. Decent. So uh, Judd was saying, "Yeah." And I said, "Well, uh, but what are you going to have him do?" And he said, "Well, you know, you know, nothing, nothing right?" In those yeah. days, Judd, Judd, Judd didn't. You know, Judd was big on having himself and one assistant because that's what he had at Washington State with. Harshman, and so uh, we just had to find things to do. And I think some of the early things I found to do were, uh, you know, was you know, I spent time looking at the academic stuff. I was the strength and conditioning guy. Um, one of the main things I did, I still say to this day, got me my job is satellite dishes were just coming out then and VCRs. Oh my god, is that a long time? VCRs, yeah. 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 wow, used to have the eight millimeter cameras, you know. To carry around for film and so you were the video guy too i was the video guy that's uh -huh. that was my main thing i got me by the first satellite dish was as big as this room right wow and uh and we had uh oh it was it was a bizarre time because he kind of liked that though that he could watch the game right away you know we used to have to send tapes mm -hmm. he had to do that over uh, airplanes and that and now we could just tape a game and oh the first couple games i taped for him and they I just sat there and prayed that they'd work, you know, and uh, they did, so he was happy. If they hadn't, who knows? Oh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, assistant coaches. Let's talk about that for a minute because you came up through the ranks here. Dwayne Stevens, year 17. Mike Garland's been with you since you got to Marquette. Cummins. Right? Cummins. He's a Belleville guy. Yes. And uh, Dane Fife. Now it seems like to some people, loyalty and longevity are almost negatives. They're bad things. Mm. Why is you know, it? you know, everybody grows, and uh, as I did when I was an assistant, you know. And and right now, I think my staff's been the best it's been. You know, right now, they last couple of years, I think everybody just kind of meshed together. You know, you got to get along together as a staff. You got to have responsibilities. Um, DJ has been my associate head coach for a lot of years, and. I think he's taken on a, a new meaning on that. Our defense has been better. Uh, Dane has learned that, you know, he puts in some of the offense and things we do. And Mike is my run man. I mean, Mike, Mike has my back for as long as I'm alive, you know. And uh, he'll never be without a job as long as I'm alive. Because when I was at Northern Michigan, he was, he, you know, he, you can believe this, Lindsay. He was one of the first, he was the first black man I met. You know, living in the UP, right, you understand. Right. You know, it's I guess it'd be like living in Detroit. You know, it's right, the opposite. Right. Way. But but I go to college, and the first night I go over to the gym, and Mike was a year older than I was, and, and I saw this guy with this big afro shooting in there, and he came right over to me, and, and you know, he, he was on the team. I was just trying to be a walk-on. He just kind of took me under his wing, and we became roommates on the road. We became best friends, mm -hmm. and uh, that's never changed. Ever, I mean, Mariucci's my best friend. Mike Garland is right there. Right. 
anyone, anywhere, anytime. Yep. Uh, that philosophy of scheduling, I think has really helped you over the years, but you are tied now for the most ranked opponents last 22 years, Michigan State and North Carolina, each with 231 ranked teams you have played. And that says a lot about your non-conference scheduling because North Carolina has had more conference ranked teams that they had to play. Yes. But I'm glad you said that because we do take a lot of pride in who we schedule. You know, and sometimes I was, you know, I call you and you tell me and that's good. <laughs> and I tell you you're on dial a clue. And <laughs> bad, but, but you're right. You know, it has made our program. Yeah. When we started it, it was John Cheney that mm -hmm. helped me get yeah. going with it. Because um, he scheduled you. Scheduled me and said, I'll come to your place first. Yeah, I said, there's a big time guy who wants to come to our place first. He just didn't care. Mm -hmm. and, and he beat us both times by one, including Pepe Sanchez. We had a 15 point lead at their place and he beat us. And he came, he came to our bus after. And he looked at me and he talked to Cleves and them. And he said, Hey, young fella, let me tell you something. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'll pay the di dividends. Schedule him. He says, It'll get you on TV. It'll make your program. So I always give John credit, you know that because um, it, it really did help us get our brand out there to be honest. You played everyone and you played a lot of them here when they would agree to come. Who haven't you played that you would love to have a home and home with? It's a good question. You know, Tubby and I used to do it a lot when he was at Kentucky. Yeah. He's a good friend, so that made it easier. You know, you know, Duke's coming this year, but we never get home and homes. We we had we had him with Kentucky Kel change that he wants to play neutral games I, I still love playing at yeah somebody else's arena and i love when those great teams can come here so we've done it with florida with uconn yeah. remember uconn we had him here mom and all these yes. that was yes. one of the more memorable times i've had um i can't think of many you know kansas we've been there once they've been here yeah. once I, you know ucla I've been there ucla has done it um florida arizona syracuse it. syracuse has done it you know it, you name them, maybe a, maybe a Georgetown, uh, you yeah. know, just because it was a, such a big event. Is that for Max Carey? <laughs> for Max Carey, you know, you know, it's for Big John. Big John's been so good to me over the years. And uh, I got one suggestion for you. Yes, sir. Okay. Butler, while Aaron Henry is okay. here, so he Hinkle can have field his house. ankle That's field right. house, See, Hoosiers. You, you told me to do that up in I uh, did. Philly, and I went up there and got my butt. <laughs> I'm responsible up. for the loss of the Palestra. That's that's all my. You know what? You know a good one that I really would like. Cause he's a really good friend and a, and a program of wildlife guards that I respect in Villanova. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Villanova mm -hmm. would be a good one. Home and home. Yeah, I, I, you know, tried a lot to get Notre Dame home and home. We got them in the ACC challenge. Right. right. But there aren't many that we haven't played. You know, when you really look at it. Uh, I, I don't know who else it would be. I, there's some coaches out there that are friends that I, I still like to play against. Uh, Carolina and us, I mean, I think we got another aircraft carrier game in the works yeah. right now, and mm -hmm. same kind of deal. And um, Those things are great. You know, give Mark Hollis credit for that, uh, all those different events we had. Um, college is about a bunch of memories, you know. It really is. And uh, I don't think guys can get bigger memories than some. Uh, you can't get a bigger memory unless you win a national championship. You've already done that. And now a lot of people are saying, in 20 years, about time for another one. And you're one of those people, right? I am one of those people. But I think it was time for another one in 2001. Right, you know? right. But, uh, you know, it's funny. When Magic was here a couple weeks ago, you know, he kind of talked to the team. And I got to give him credit. You know, he's the one that talked to the team for the Duke game. So, um, Good go speech. Fight, kind of right. For this one here. I think it'll be a little crazier. But, uh, you know, it's, you know, you got to be good enough. you got to be lucky. I think what I'm getting prouder of, though, you know, you look at the last, uh, I think it was 10 years, I think eight times, or six times we've been ranked second. You know, and we've been in the top 10, I think, 13 or 14 out of 20 years, you know. Yeah. And, that's consistency that you want to have, and, but it seems like you got to finish the job, and that has escaped us. So yeah, it's still a goal every year, and uh, you know you got to get to a, the 
tournament first. You got to get to a Sweet 16. You got to get to an Elite Eight. You got to get to a Final Four before you can win one. So all those things are part of the process. Lindsay, in the Michigan State locker room, uh, right in the middle of the floor, you've got 